All right, hello guys. Welcome to Dragon Fable. This is a very amazing Flash game that came out in 2006, which gets updated basically every two weeks to this day. Right, so we are going to meet Virgil Thunderbird. Uh, the reason why that is funny is because shout outs to my D&D group from back home, uh, the Cinnamon Boys. Right, so timing starts when I click on book one. Uh, we're basically going to be doing the first kind of little story arc where we get our little pet dragon. So we'll go in three, two, one, go. All right. So this is an Arctic Entertainment game. They made a bunch of different games, like if you heard of Adventure Quest, Met Quest, uh, Adventure Quest Worlds. They they made a ton of different things. Uh, so within the lore of the Arctic Entertainment games, Dragon Babel's like the prequel to Adventure Quest. Where everything fits in together, I have no idea. I, I, I get lost at some point and then never recovered. Uh, this is our boy, Virgil Thunderbird. <laughs> right, so the start of this story starts with like this woman with a chest and a little red thing, thing called Twilly riding a dragon. They vacate the dragon. The dragon then goes, I could kill you, but I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to leave you alone for a while. All right. And because this is not a flash game, basically everything is done via clicking for a lot of the cutscenes. Um, they did add keyboard controls in in some of these games. This game is one of them. Um, and the keyboard controls can be used to skip a couple of cutscenes, but they're not amazingly like useful in a lot of situations. All right, cool. There you go. Now we get to move. All right, there we go. All right. Now, the princess and Twilly goes over there. Twilly gets hit. Uh, sorry, guys, we do have to kick the... Uh, Kick the red thing away. We don't want it. All right, cool. And now, um, the starting class mainly really affects this guy, uh, the Gorillafin. Uh, depending on what cards you have, depends on how many turns you can take to do this. This was perfect, by the way, because I've got a crit on the second turn. All right, there you go. All right, cool. Right, there's actually a cutscene after this that you need to click through, but with keyboard controls, you can just go, no, I don't want to watch the cutscene and just walk out of the level. <laughs> All right, cool. Right, so this is the book. Uh, this is a, a like a feature they added in one of the updates later on. So we're going to add a couple of guests in. Usually, we guess you had to go and find them back in the day. And someone else is going to buy and going to go the armor class shop. Right, so first thing we do need to do is we need to turn our uh, we need to turn our rogue into a stick man real quick. Uh, right, there we go. We're a rogue stick man now. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so the Stickman armor is, uh, is, this game's like kind of joke armor, but what the joke armor does is it changes your attacks to these three, that, um, these like three little ones. And essentially um, they have like a set amount of damage and they, it just out damages like everything in beginning game, these like four attacks. So uh, yeah, we're, we're just gonna be a Stickman now. Um, what's funny is the Stickman armor is like, if you look at like the tier list of like armors and things and like attacks you can have, it's really low tier for like anything above like level 20, but between like level 10 or whatever, it's broken. All right, cool. So also something else with the book, you can use the book to teleport around to different to all the different areas and things that that um you need to go to. If you know anything about the story of this game, I just skip like four boss fights <laughs> <laughs> by just using the book to teleport to a, to a uh, different place. All right, so first place I need to go, I need to go and talk to Rabina Hood here. All right, to catch the little goblin guy that nicked our chest. Right, now we, we really want what's in this chest. Right, so, one opportunity. Right, cool. Right, so, now we got to go buy, fight all these bandit guys to get a thing for uh, Rabina. So while I'm killing all these guys, Nico, have you got anything you need to say? Perfect. We have a few donations that just came in as well. We've got Miri, one of our hosts, one of the starting hosts for today. Uh, they uh, were part of Cocoon, and they said... As promised, $10 for each failed uh, puzzle from Cocoon. Couldn't be happy to give it towards such a good cause. And that was three puzzles. That was failed, so that was $30 of a donation. Thank you, Miri. Which also goes towards the bonus chart Super Emulator for Open Tyco, which I'm very excited for that Rhythm Game Showcase. We've got $40 from Water Baby Bell. That says, uh, shout out to the Cinnamon Boys. Good luck on the run, mates. And thank you to everyone involved for ensuring this event runs smooth. Y'all are awesome. And they also get themselves an ESA winter shirt at the same time. So props to you. You get a snazzy t-shirt. Uh, one more? Yeah, sure. You can go ahead. Awesome. Uh, $10 from Shep. No comment. Thank you very much for your donation. Oh, right. Yeah. Thank you, Shep. All right. So this last fight has like three dudes in it, so we're actually going to use uh, Arctic's big move here. All right, and then we're going to use this one. This should hopefully stun or kill. It didn't get the kill, but that's fine. All right, so that's the end of this quest. We've murdered all the bandits real quick. Oh, we've got to level up first. 
you know the important stuff. Yeah, yeah. the important stuff. But what's funny is you can get all the you can get like stat point increases and um with how the armor works, even if you increase your stats, the damage still gets scaled to what the armor wants it to be. So you get like loads of stat increases and you just don't need them when you're wearing this armor. Right, so this entire quest is we get told by Rubina we have to go collect like a bunch of different like materials from like all these different creatures. So we've got to kill a bunch of basilisks, a bunch of um uh tiger looking things, like some balls. Um in you know complete silence, because again, early flash game. This part of the game doesn't really have that much music in a load of different places. Um they went back and added music in some of them. Um but like some of the cutscenes, like the final cutscene in this just has no music and it's very ominous. Like this feels like extremely new grounds, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it, like, it's like, uh, it's like definitely like a 2006 like <laughs> flash game experience. All right, level up again. Right, and something else with leveling up as well. Um, whenever I level up, my party members don't level up. Um, they're like static. So in order to get them to get to my level, because they should always be the same level as you, you need to take them out of your party and put them back into your party. Um, the party members are. <laughs> They do scale the amount of EXP and money that you get, but you don't exactly like need it to do the first thing. So it's useful having two people with you just to make sure you can end off uh, fights quickly. All right, so we need a sword. All right, Artix. Right, there's actually um, these two particular party members just have like the best attacks out of like all of them for like doing quick bursts of damage. There's like a pirate guy. There's a bunch of other wizards and. Uh, there's a uh, like a like a small swordsman called Ash. That was a big crit. <laughs> big. Crit. As a stick, you got a crit. Yep. <laughs> and then got to leave this room, and that's the end of that quest. Right. And we do and we do all this work for Rabina, and then we go. Yo, can we have the block box? And then uh, before we get the box, this guy Drakaf appears again with a big boy, and we got a uh, right. So if you do this right, you use this attack, you use this, and this should. Get rid of him. That did not work, but that's fine. I was a little low on damage. I'm going to stun this guy so he doesn't take a turn. Ow. <laughs> the hits in this game are quite funny when they do actually hit. Match that. All right, cool. It was still a two-turner. Right, and then we go through all this, realizing the chest is empty because the egg fell out at some point and is on the top of a uh, junk heap. So now we've got to go back in the book. <laughs> We go, uh, we got to go here. Is it there? Is it there? there? Right. I have to make sure I don't press on the first hex box with Valencia here. So Valencia is another like pretty infamous uh, character. She's in like every single one of the like more medieval style games, and she tells us, "Oh, it's in the Sneevil dump site." So we got to quickly go to the Sneevil dump site real quick. Oh, I forgot to change party members. It doesn't matter too much. So we got to kill these uh, all all these plants and all these robots. What do you think of this game currently? <laughs> I think it's just like the most <laughs> iconic of Flash games I've seen in a long time. Like I did not grow up around Dragon Fable, but like I was very much on Newgrounds. I reckon if I had changed the kind of style of Flash games that I'd enjoyed, I would have been very heavily, heavily like just playing this like almost religiously almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was kind of like um, when this kind of started coming out around time when I was in like second, uh, like my secondary school or high yeah, school. Yeah, absolutely. And it's like it was like the lunchtime game where like you would go to the library and go. I'm I'm not eating food. I'm playing, Rebel. I'm playing Dragon Fable. It was Neopets, okay. It, it, I must have been Neopets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all have the lunchtime game. Yep. Yep. All right. Ne nearly end of this quest, and then. All right. Cool. Here's a dragon egg. Uh, it kind of gets nicked by a, a, another dragon. Because we're not done. Right, so before <laughs> I talk to Valencia, I'm going to quickly change around party members, uh, remove guests, invite, invite, go back, talk. Right. So we got to get up there to get to that boy up there with the uh, eggs. So we got to go through all these doors. Luckily, the door puzzle is pretty easy. We're going to go. It's left, right, right, or something. I just press the buttons. Uh, this guy, the big move. Up there, then that way. <laughs> so the wiggle gets me every time as well. <laughs> all you do is just wiggle all over everything. Uh, that should... No, that's fine. Right, cool. Right, so when we get to the end, we have to uh, fight the big Vol Dragon thing. 
which is this thing, got a ballot. Uh, 40, if I do pure, that should learn enough for where this will go. Cool, one turn, that's pretty good. Right, cool. Now we have six, dra well, I have five dragon eggs now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know which one's a dragon egg though. Right, so now, because we don't know which one's a dragon egg, we're gonna go have some breakfast with uh, Warlick. Who's the uh, who's the wizard who can help us uh, work out what the uh, which is the right egg? So we're gonna talk talk to about the dragon egg because um, we don't know which one it is. So we have this egg on the table. <laughs> He's talking about a bunch of stuff and then he cooks us a giant massive egg. I, I don't know if that's <laughs> how did that fit inside of that egg in the first place? <laughs> right, no, that's the end of that quest. Right, right. So I got to talk to him again. Uh, let's go, dragon quest. The tome will haunt. Right, cool. Now we have to go to the tower. Right, so the tower is. This weird sideways, like upside down, like thing with like like enemies based on like uh like like this is like the laundry golem. They're like based on like clothing and like teddy bears and things, but they've gone like cursed or something. Like this, we have got the bugbear. It's like a weird like for some reason it's called the bugbear, but it looks more like a like a. It's a demented builder bear. Yeah, it's like a stegosaurus with <laughs> yeah. like a like a bear thing on it. With like I do I like do appreciate the laundry golem has like a button for its eyes. Mm -hmm. like just so you know where to hit, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so you know where to poke when, like, you go in. You've got the monkey protecting his hands with the socks. <laughs> what weird thing's going to happen next? Yeah. <laughs> right, hit him with that. Oh, that was not a lot of damage. So we're going to do that attack. Make sure it dies. All right. More of these. Right. You have you... time for some donations? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, perfect. Right. Miri's coming with two donations back to back. They go... Hi, Nico. Hi, Rebel. Waku! Which is a reference to uh, to Metaku earlier on. But then they also come back with another $25 that says, well, maybe it was Waigu. <laughs> All right, so this yeah. is the <laughs> this is the Booger Bus, which is basically just a massive version of the Bug Bear. And he still dies to that guy just going nuts. Right, so this is like the C-minus book. It tells us how to uh, locate, the, locate the Dragon Egg. Right, so... We gotta go up to the fire cave now. So this game has four different elemental um no, it has like a ton of different elemental types of enemies and each of them have like a quest dungeon. Um what you're normally meant to do, um, if you don't know what to like if like you don't know what you're doing, you're meant to find the little clue in this dungeon and then beat the entire dungeon. Um but yeah, that's way too slow. We're not gonna do that. Um I'm just gonna go grab the clue and then use a different teleportation method to get out because when you're in a quest, um the book just opens up what current quest you're on. Well, there is a different way you can teleport out. This is some slap of music. Oh, yeah, I know, right? When the music decides to start playing, it's like, now it's time to cook. <laughs> I mean, you're a volcano. Of course you're going to be cooking, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Static shock's useful because it applies the stun status. It's useful just to stop them from taking the turn. Oh, great. Right, something else as well. In a lot of these fights, um, the amount of enemies you have to fight is actually, pr is actually like, random. It's randomized. Um... So this one here might have two or three different enemies in it. It's one. The next one probably has three in them. It's kind of how it tends to work. There is kind of a pattern to it. Um, there's, there's three. Um, but how many of the globs and how many of the elementals there are is uh, up to what the game just decides to throw at you. Um, it's kind of like to try and like help like differentiate other people like people's experiences from like each other. Right. There's one more of these guys we've got to fight. There should be three. Yep. Cool. These guys all die in like one just regular attack. So we're just gonna smack them. And then I need to go and grab the top bag, which is the string of fire yarn, if I remember correctly. Yep, it's a bag of fire yarn. And then the other teleportation method is we can just go to hometown. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why the bottom of the uh, the thing is pink, they've recently just done their Valentine's Day update for the week or whatever. You were telling me earlier on that they are still updating this Flash game. Yes, to the yeah to the yeah it, the last update was about just under a week ago. And that's well from like two, you said 2006 up till now. Yes. That's incredible for like Flash developers, really. Yeah. Right. I need to quickly. I accidentally messed up by not pressing the heal button, so let me just remove those. And bye, bye. Now we Right now we gotta go to this. So the rock cave. The rock cave has like 10 different, 10 or so different layouts. It's random which one it decides to give you. Some of them are really short, and some of them are really long. Um, this one may be a longer one, cause I. Actually, it may be one of the short ones. If I get to go up in the next room, then it might be one of the shorter ones. Uh, okay. I don't know which one it is now. <laughs> <laughs> You'll fight. You'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I just had to follow the line until yeah. it tells me. Okay, now we get to go up. All right, so this boulder elemental. Some of these fights come with three boulder elementals, and they're really annoying to deal with. 
So we just hope to God that we just get one in the bug, the dirt beetle. Right, if we get to go up, the boss should be up here. Ah, this may be a longer one. Alright, another one of these. Alright. Bang, Alright, so a couple more rooms. There's one over here. Nope, that's the wrong way. <laughs> of course. Oh. oh, huge rip. I bet it's like, yeah, one screen down, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't too bad of like a, a right. time loss anyway. Right. It's fine. This is the stone head. He'll die in this turn. Goodbye, stone head. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. All right. All right. Now we have obtained two of the items that we need to complete the summoning of this creature that Warlick wants us to do. Oh, yeah, that's the context. That's why we're going to all these places. Right. So okay. I need the bag of salmon. As you do. As you always need the bag of salmon. Mm. Uh, I've also got the bag of fire yarn and uh, I can't remember what the rock, what, what the like stone one's called. Bag of stones? It might be called the bag of stones, maybe. <laughs> right. That's actually up in the top corner there. That's like the the, the wind uh, temple thing, but you never have to go there because the, uh, the bag of wind nip is there. Right. So, we've got to call to a Warlick again. Oh, let me talk to Warlick. Heal, dragon egg. Right. So, this is the summoning. Now, we've got all the things we need. There are multiple dragon eggs. We're going to work out which one it is. So to do that, we need to uh, summon the Doom Kitten. Doom Kitten tells us which which is the dragon egg, but it doesn't like us, so it's going to try and kill us now. So now we've got to fight the cat. Right, so the Doom Kitten can be done in two turns if you get good damage rolls. Um, this probably won't be because I didn't hit level 9. If you hit level 9, this becomes a little bit easier. Uh, Doom Kitten. Oof. He does a lot of damage, yeah. Because uh, Warlick is not Warlick, I mean, because uh, Artix is not amazing at dealing with the death. Oh, yeah. oh my word, that did a lot of damage. It's fine. Right, cool. So there we go. We've obtained the dragon egg. Right, so all we got to do now is you just got to hatch the egg. So now we have the egg. Oh, yeah. Also, this entire time, I've not been able to go to Falcon Reach because I've not unlocked Falcon Reach. Ah. <sighs> it's a real problem, but no, I can just go to Falcon Reach. Nice. <laughs> right, I won't leave you on this one. Good luck with the rest of the run, buddy, all right? Thank you. Right, so this is the secret cave. Right, during the secret cave, we get to pick our dragon egg out. What we got? Uh, let's go. Uh, th there's the one. That's the dragon egg we want. Right, so now we've got the dragon egg. We need, need to leave the cave for some reason. Right, so. Now we get to watch the hatching. So, Twilly tries to help us, like, hatch the egg. We try a ton of different stuff. We even try a puppet show. Nothing works. Uh, during this time, the, these, these are two main villains. They have their own dragon egg that they're trying to hatch. So we're, we're all, all trying to hatch our dragon eggs. Also, there's no music, which makes this even better. So this is the evil guy's dragon. Um, but it's, it's all sunshine and rainbows for them. Uh, this is Fluffy, by the way. So he decides, no, Fluffy's not good enough. So it makes him a Draco Lich real quick. <laughs> and then to, to transition, we have our dragon. This is our little baby drag, uh, Drago boy. With his demonic ass, like, <laughs> summoning with no music. Completely silent. Here's our little green boy. And with that, when I press that, that is time. So, hopefully, you enjoy Dragon Fable. Um, this game has, like, a ton of different story things. So, I, like, this game has three different arcs. And if you go in here, timeline, it just goes on forever. And this is just a little, like, little snippet of what like this game is like with his memes and funny and all this other stuff um as per usual there is a speedrun discord for this and an src page if you would like to partake in the memes of dragon fable um again uh shout outs to the cinnamon boys thank uh thank you guys for existing and uh i'll pass it back over to nico